Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are continuing with our series on uh, Maths Paper 2 that was written in November 2015. We have discussed Section A, so today we are going to revise number 7 of Section B, which was a question on functional graphs. Functional graphs is one of the easiest topic in section B. Um, you should make sure that you master functional graph because it is one of the easiest uh, topic in section B. I usually encourage my students to be able to answer functional graphs. So number seven is reading. The table shows the values for the function y is equals to half x times five minus x calculate the value of p so this question is purely on substitution uh, we are going to say y is equals to half x times 5 minus x so this is our um, y which is p and then our x is 3 so we say p is equals to half times 3 times 5 minus x if we say 5 minus 3, we are going to get 2. And then we say 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 2, 1. So it implies that the value of P is equals to 3. So that is how you obtain the first mark on number 7A. And then now I want to move on to part B. It is saying answer this part of the question on the grid on page 17. We are supposed to draw the graph of Y is equals to half x times 5 minus x. So what we are going to do is we are going to plot these points minus 1 in line with minus 3, 0 in line with 0, 1 with in line with 2 going with that pattern. Uh, so the first point that I want to plot is minus 1, minus 3. So it implies that this is going to be our minus 1 in the x-axis and uh, minus 3 in the y-axis. So we plot this point. Next, we are having 0, 0. That is the origin. So we are going to plot this point. This is 0, 0. Next, we are having 1 and 2. 1 in the x-axis and 2 in the y-axis. So we are having 1 in the x-axis and 2 in the y-axis. And then the next one is 2 in the x-axis and 3 in the y-axis and then the next one is 3 in the x-axis and 3 in the y-axis so we plot this point and then the next one is 4 and 2 4 in the x-axis and 2 in the y-axis and we are having 5 and 0 then after 5 and 0 we are having 6 and minus 3 so 6 in the x-axis and minus 3 in the y-axis is this point. And then after that, we are going to uh, draw a smooth cave that is going to join all the plotted points. So try by all means to draw a cave that is smooth. And after um, joining all the points using the cave, you're supposed to label that the graph is y is equals to half x times 5 minus x and then on c part 1 we are supposed to use the graph to estimate the maximum value of y so this is the maximum value of y uh, if we join here um, we are going to have this value as the maximum value of y which is 3.1 so it implies that y is equals to 3.1 that is the maximum value of y and then on c part 2 we are supposed to use the graph to estimate the range of values of x for which y is positive so y is positive from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 5 that is what we are going to write on c part 2 so write that the range of x is 0 to 5 let us move on to D part 1. And then on D part 1, it is saying draw a suitable straight line 
that can be used to solve the equation half x times 5 minus x is equals to x minus 1. Uh, so in order to draw the graph of y is equals to x is equals to 1. Sorry, it, y, it is y is equals to x minus 1. We are going to have a table of values that we are going to use to plot the points. So here we are going to say uh, x and y. If x is equals to if x is equals to zero, we need to find the value of y. It is going to be minus one. And then if uh, y is equals to zero, uh, the value of x is going to be positive one because if we say uh, zero is equals to um, x minus one. If we shift minus one to be on the other side, it is going to be positive one. So we can plot our points using these two points. We are saying that zero in the x-axis is in line with y is equals to minus one, which is this point. And then one in the x-axis is in line with zero in the y-axis. So we plot this point and then we are going to join these points using a ruler. We join like this. Then after that, we need to label that this line is y is equals to x minus 1. And then on part 2, it is saying use the graph to solve the equation half x. Uh, 5 minus x is equals to x minus 1. So we are going to take the x coordinates uh, where the line and the curve are intersecting. So this is the first point of intersection and also this point of intersection. We need to find the x coordinates of those points. So here we say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it implies that our first x is equals to negative 0 0.4 and then here we need to find the x coordinate here so we are having 3 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it means that uh, this x value is 3.6 so we are going to present our solutions is x is equals to uh, negative 0 0.4 and 3.6 and then finally on part e we are supposed to find the area that is bounded by the cave the x axis and the lines x is equals to 2 and x is equals to 4 uh, so what is important here is to understand the region that we are supposed to find the area so here we are having x is equals to 2 so we are going to draw a line x is equals to 2 and also x is equals to 4 it is this region and then um, we are supposed to find this area and also the area that is bounded by the x-axis x is equals to 4 x is equals to 2 and the cave so we need to find this area so what we are going to do is uh, we first join this so that we are having a complete rectangle and then we are going to deduct this portion of a uh, triangle so if we join this whole rectangle uh, here it is 3.1 that is the length so we write uh, 3.1 this is our length and then our width it is going to be 4 minus 2 which is equals to 2 so it implies that the area of this whole portion is 3.1 times 2 and then we deduct the area of uh, triangle so area of the triangle is half base times height so 3.1 times 2 we get 6.2 so the base is from this point to this point which is 1 and then the height is uh, 1.1 so we need to subtract 6.2 minus half times 1 times 1.1 1 
uh, let us punch on the calculator. Uh, so we are saying um, 6.2 minus 0 0.55. We are going to get our answer is 5.65 uh, square units. Uh, so that was all about functional graphs that was in November 2015, Meets Paper 2. Thank you so much, guys, for following me on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. Let us meet again in another tutorial where we are going to continue on number 8.